Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Proviance, and today I want to show you not so much a recipe as a, an idea for how to put dinner on the table really simply, really easily, particularly a steak dinner, um, when you don't have a whole lot of time. This recipe, this technique is going to take under half an hour, um, and it's absolutely delicious. I want to share with you some variations on the theme as well. I'm cooking strip steak today, New York strip steak, and the first thing that I did was to take them out of the refrigerator, oil them and season them, and I'm just going to set them aside. And it's a good idea to do that because the steaks lose their chill that way. You don't really want to put a cold steak on the grill. Also the time that the salt and the pepper have to work into the steak is really going to improve the crust on the outside of the steak. So those are done. Now I'm just going to think about what to serve with the steak. What sort of topping? And, and here I'm going with a vinaigrette. Now many people think of a vinaigrette as being just sort of an oil and vinegar mixture, and that's, that's true, that's what it is. So I'm going to start with some vinegar, a little red wine vinegar, a little bit of uh, mustard is going to go into this particular vinaigrette. The mustard is going to help to, to thicken it up a little bit to make it easier to emulsify. And I'm going to add to this um, actually some shallot and uh, a little bit of, of basil. So we're going to just thinly slice some shallot. I'm going to make about a tablespoon of uh, minced shallot. You want to bundle it all together in a little pile like this. Put the tip of your knife down at one end of the shallots and, and that's basically going to stay in the same place and you're going to sort of pivot over the shallots. And then scoop everything back together again put your pivot in place and then just run your knife from one side to the other. Now this vinaigrette is going to work off of the classic combination of tomato and blue cheese. I'll take about a tablespoon and put that in there. So I've already got um, some tomatoes and you could be using cherry tomatoes that you quarter or what I've done here is to make um, halves of uh, these little grape tomatoes. And then I've got some fresh basil here. Basil you want to chop pretty much at the last moment. If you cut it too far, in ahead, too far ahead of time, it tends to um, get black on the edges. Doesn't look as good, doesn't taste quite as good. So I'm going to take, um, you know, a handful of leaves. And here, you know, you could be using another herb if you like. Obviously tomato and basil are a great combination, but if you happen to have parsley or thyme, you know, use those as well. Same basic chopping technique. Scoop it together, run your knife over the top. These you can leave a little bit uh, bigger, a little bit rougher than the, um, than the shallots. So those are ready to go in. And of course we're going to need some oil on a vinaigrette. We're going to need about three times as much oil as we have uh, vinegar. Make sure that's emulsified. And then I'm going to add my tomatoes and my basil. And of course we'll need a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And I'm going to actually add the blue cheese uh, very close to the end because the blue cheese tends to uh, get a little, a little soft and fall apart if you add it too early. So that's mostly ready to go. And my steaks are rested and ready to hit the grill. The grill is set up for direct high heat. So it's quite hot. Um, I want it hot so that I can sear the outside before the inside gets overdone. I'm just going to lay it down. You want to see a good amount of sizzle and smoke. And the biggest mistake that people make at this point is that they they start fiddling with the steaks. Really, if you want the best tasting steak on the block, just close the lid, let the grill do its thing. It's going to take about three minutes a side to cook these steaks. So about six minutes in, your steaks are going to look like this. Gently yielding to the touch. That's a nice medium rare doneness. And this is the way that I would serve my friends or family on a casual night with my, uh, my vinaigrette. Again, a vinaigrette is, you know, is, is the oil and vinegar mixture, but what I've done here is to build on that by adding the tomato and the basil, and now I'm going to add a little bit of blue cheese. 
And of course, there's the shallots in there, but you could vary it any way that you like. You could be using grilled vegetables, maybe some zucchini or some eggplant. You could be adding olives or capers. Basically, add the flavors that you like, and you've got essentially a very fresh, healthy, colorful sauce with different textures. It's just something to accent the steak. I mean, the steak by itself is great, but now it's, it's even better. So there you go. Wednesday night, Tuesday night, Thursday night, any night you're hankering for a steak, try making a built-up amplified vinaigrette.